Okay, let's continue with our topic of co-simulation and show you how to use this design method with the ANSYS HFSS MCAT Mechanical CAT and the ANSYS HFSS Circuit. HFSS is the Electromagnetic Simulation Tool and the HFSS Circuit is the circuit tool to match and tune the antenna element. Again, two different solve methods, electromagnetics and circuit. So in our series three video on the 5G smartphone, we demonstrated this technique, this method of design. And in these videos, we used a PIFA structure for the 5G new radio frequency range and a patch antenna array for the 5G millimeter frequency range. And the design goal was to fit these structures on the side wall of the smartphone, as well as place them in multiple locations on the phone. So in this module, we're going to use a simpler model. We're going to use a simple model geometry to demonstrate this co-simulation technique with the goal of bending or folding the element for use on the side wall of the phone. That bending will create a parasitic effect, most probably a capacitive effect, but let's check it. Okay, let's use this rectangular edge-fed patch antenna. It's on FR4. It is synthesized for 3.5 gigs, and we'll use a geometry model already created for you using the HFSS antenna toolkit. So let's go ahead and launch the ANSYS electronic desktop, and go ahead and launch the antenna toolkit. Let's begin by creating a rectangular edge-fed patch antenna from the Antenna Toolkit with the required design parameters. Here's the HFSS created geometry model as synthesized from the toolkit. Go ahead and analyze this model. And once the analysis is done, go and view the results as generated from the toolkit as well. Now the goal is to fold or bend the antenna so that it fits onto the side wall of the smartphone. Here is the folded antenna model design. Go ahead and reanalyze. And once the analysis is done, go ahead and view these results. Return loss, the input impedance, and the total radiated power of the antenna. Plotting both the planar and the folded antenna results onto one plot, you can see the changes that resulted from this bending, from this folding. Here's the, the comparison. Now let's try and improve this folded response by improving the impedance match at the input. And this folded model design resonates closely to 3.4 gigahertz. So let's use this frequency to match using the Smith tool inside of HFSS circuit. In the project modeler window, go ahead and insert the HFSS circuit. And once that appears, select the HFSS MCAD model and bring it up to the HFSS circuit by copying and pasting the design into the circuit or just by selecting and dragging the HFSS model into the HFSS circuit. As seen in the project manager window, the HFSS model is a sub-circuit design within the HFSS circuit. A hierarchy is set up. Within the 3D Modeler window, use Ctrl-D to maximize the view of the MCAD model as a circuit schematic block in the circuit domain. Let's go ahead and insert a port to the model and select the microwave port using the Edit Port option by right mouse clicking on the inserted port. Go ahead and flip the port vertically if you want to view the ground on the bottom of the schematic. Create a voltage source for this port, a sinusoidal voltage port since we are using a microwave port implementation. Be sure to edit the properties for this port and use one volt as the AC mag and the frequency set to 3.4 gigahertz. Add a circuit solution setup of linear network analysis. Use the same frequency as the HFSS model. So we're sweeping between 1.75 gigs and 5.25 gigs, and we can use 0.05 gigahertz steps. Go ahead and analyze, and when the analysis completes, go ahead and view the results, which should be the same as in the HFSS MCAD model. Here we copy and pasted the results for comparison on one plot. Let's go ahead and use the Smith tool option from the results tab for designing the matching network. 
Again, select 3.4 gigs to view where it's located on the SMID chart. We'll use this point to create a conjugate match. Select the button named the conjugate and select the 3.4 gigahertz location. A circle appears and it indicates the conjugate point for matching on the SMID chart. Select the Matching tab now and select the button New Match to create some matching network configuration and select the center of the SMID chart. Now the number of elements in the component scheme, that, that's left up to you for your desired goal. For our purpose is to show the process. So let's use a minimum number of points to realize a match. And for this model, we'll use a Series C and then a Shunt L. And as you can see by the values, they're very small. Go ahead and export this network. And this appears as another sub-circuit in the project tree, another example of hierarchy. Drag and connect this matching network between the port and the HFSS model. Go ahead and reanalyze. Again, view the results, and you can see here's a change in the return loss and the input impedance with and without this matching network. Now let's go ahead and push the excitation from HFSS circuit with this matching network back into the HFSS MCAD model. We are creating this dynamic link between circuit and HFSS EM simulation solvers. Now the results for the return loss and the radiation pattern from the planar model, the folded model, with and without tuning are shown here together in one plot. You can see that the folded antenna model with the matching circuit created with the Smith tool in the HFSS circuit improved the return loss as well as increased the gain in the radiation pattern. Again, a result of co-simulation using both HFSS electromagnetic simulation and HFSS circuit. So in this video module, I showed you how to create a co-simulation project inside of the ANSYS electronic desktop using the HFSS Mechanical CAD, MCAT, and the HFSS circuit. We used the model geometry created from the antenna toolkit, and we folded the antenna 90 degrees with the goal of fitting it to the sidewall of the smartphone. And this folding did indeed add some capacitance to the model geometry, which was originally flat, planar. We used the Smith tool inside of the HFSS circuit to rematch the design to three and a half gigs and push the revised circuit excitation back into HFSS MCAD to see the improved return loss and gain pattern. With the increased need to stay connected, the need to impedance match that antenna element or elements in an array is greatly increased as the better the match of the antenna element, the better the performance of the entire unit, which for our smartphone means better wireless connection. The method of co-simulation is increasingly of value for your antenna design needs. Check out our channel for more how-to videos and visit ansys.com forward slash courses today. Thank you.